Hello and welcome to another edition of The Snackdown, sponsored by Walker's Crisps. And much like a bag of crisps, we'll be providing tasty enjoyment and perhaps even making people look jealously at your lunchbox. Joining me this month, a man who, well, people often say they never see the two of us in the same room, but that's mainly because I only get the gig when he isn't available. It's comedy legend and showbiz pal, Dave Badil. Hello, Dave. How are you doing? <laughs> that, that was my introduction. <laughs> that was really. a brilliant introduction. <laughs> you, we did, your voice went really weird when really? you started. You'd be, we have, I have, have to tell you something, listeners. We talk beforehand. And viewers, just to and, and viewers, yeah, yeah. We yeah. talk beforehand, we chat, because we are all showbiz pals. Yeah, yeah. And Dave was talking normally. Right? <laughs> and, then, and then suddenly went, hello! Hello, everybody. Here's my pal, Dave. <laughs> it's quite extraordinary. So I, so I try and do it again in a more relaxed manner. Yeah. yeah. So I'll do it naturalistic don't, acting. Don't bring the mood down. Okay. Uh, so um, really joining sober. me this month, a uh, man who, well... Um, no, you have brought it down. Actually, it's interesting because you call me Dave, which... Uh, Frank Skinner does. Yeah. Frank Skinner calls me Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and a number of other people call me Dave, but but most people call me David. Uh, do, do you have a preference? No, I don't have a preference. Right. But it's just some people have decided. Because you're do you one not, of them. Do you not find that people ask you, are you Dave or David? They do, and I say it's up to you. Right. Yeah, I do you, that, but I'm gradually as I'm getting older, I'm feeling that. The David. I'm, yeah. I awesome. suppose as you get older, you do have to adopt a sort of propriety about your name. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Dave feels like you're pretending to be young. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but also, I think. David's you you know a David when you see one. I have a friend and he's he's such a David. Yeah. What, just, does, he... what does a David? Sorry, I need, need to introduce <laughs> Yasmin Akra. <laughs> hey. Hey. And Adam Hess is also here. Hey. Hey. So, yeah, so you can now chip in for <laughs> right. So uh, Yasmin, yeah, chip away. In... Well, I was just going to say you know a David when you see one. I would say both what? of you are Davids. What does never... a David? Oh, look don't like? be mean. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's no, me. David's yeah. so lovely. Like, yeah. David is like a David is just like us. yes. I think the difference between Dave and David, your sleeves are rolled up. Yeah, that's Dave. That's Dave. And you're still for the David. David. I've gone for the more back. formal. I'm I'm happy with my Davidness, whereas you're still fighting it. You're lucky you've got a name that can be shortened because it shows like an air of familiarity. There's nothing you can do with my name that makes Ad. me look. Ad. Yeah. Ad. Ad, you sound insane. The only thing I've been called Ad was by a form tutor, a math yeah. ma- mathematics was, tutor. No, it was it was like. She thought I was being bullied, so she took me to one side and said, look, Ad. And I was like, oh. oh. Yeah. And Yaz, were you Yaz? Are I you was, Yaz? I was Yazzy for a very long time. Oh. And then the confusing thing was there was a boy in our school who, his name was Gary, but his nickname was Yazzy for some They're reason. really not Gazzy. Well, you would think. Yeah, that would but... make more sense. We had a fight once yeah, because right. I was going, but my name's Yasmin. Yeah. But on the back of the swimming pool, in graffiti, it <laughs> says we, it, was like, <laughs> it was like Yazzie loves Sharon or something. Oh, so then, right. for ages, I'd have to explain to people, I don't know who Sharon is. I've never met her. <laughs> right. I'm straight. Yeah, it's you know, the swimming pool is irrelevant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not in the swimming pool looking at Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sharon was a guy actually. Yeah. 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 Called Shaz- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, Marvellous. Well, there, that's that skipped over the introductions that I was going to do in a more formal voice, yeah. uh, which is great. Uh, I'm now slightly nervous about doing these uh, opening gags in a slightly more formal voice, but we'll get through them. It's not formal, Dave. Just no, it's, it's a bit your podcast voice. It's my podcast, yeah, yeah. Uh, I like to be called Davey in my podcast. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have a go, and I feel if it doesn't work, we'll just cut it out. So we've already got some great, yeah. some great stuff. You can do it, Davey. Thank you, thank you. So, <laughs> it's been quite a month, and there's been an awful lot of meteorological chat. We had a few days of fogle the time, all mine, all mine, and that's that's meant to be my Geordie accent. I can't, can you do a Geordie accent? I'm so bad. No, I can't. No. It's, it's too Yes. My, my, my Welsh accent is identical to my Indian accent. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard. No, yeah. I can't do I've any accent. Yeah. And I feel, I'm kind of a person without shame, as you probably know about me from the way that I, I you know, in, in everything that well, I've... You're here. I'm here, <laughs> I'm here, I'm prepared to talk about anything in my life, but the only thing that makes me feel embarrassed is trying to do accents. Because yeah. I, really? I really can't do them. And my kids often say, go on, Dad, try your American accent. <laughs> well, you and have even to with, do it now. Even you with them, to... no, it's... I, well, you I, have to try one now yeah. to prove that... Yeah. I am embarrassed, you see, I'm but embarrassed. Pop... If you ask me about my love life... Yes, my, the most uh, intimate blah, blah, things, I, I yeah. would tell you without any problem, but trying to do any kind of accent it's embarrasses because me. what there's always is someone who's like... 
telling a story, a funny person like you is telling a story, and then all of a sudden you say, and then he turned around to me and he said, no, watch it, and then the <laughs> most boring person says, Welsh was he? I think Yasmin can do accents, though. No, I kind of, I find it, people have no problem doing my accent to me, which I always very, find really strange. Do you find that rude? Is that Sometimes if I... I got it oh, whenever they, just, yes. just, just through meeting you and they don't know you. Yeah, I, I'd have, my, my best friend's other friend, he, if I say something, he laughs and then just mimics what I just said. So As I said, if that is witty. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. Put on a, it was me. Yeah. I don't want to say somewhere, somewhere else, but I'm slightly worried about your best friend's other friend. I know. Yes, I want I, to know. I'm worried that I they won't. feel that things aren't right between the three of you. There feels like they a might rivalry think, there. Yeah. I wouldn't call him my friend. That's what. That's <laughs> well, well, why do you not get on with your best well, friend's other friend? It's all to do with you, maybe the accent. I feel very threatened by him but after that. Does your Tang best friend only have one other friend? Well, one other best friend. Right. Yeah. I think there's a sitcom and you and your best friend and the other, the best, other friend. The other yeah. best friend. Yeah, 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 it could yeah. be called the other best the friend. Other best the other best friend. friend. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But if he's watching or listening to this, I don't mean you. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else. Right, where was I in my uh, introduction? It's all gone a bit. I was talking about You were fog. doing a joke about weather. <laughs> so, yes, so we had uh, fog all the time, all mine, all mine. And, of course, in the trendy part of London where I live, uh, we no longer call it a pea super. It's more a butternut squash and tarragon super, but it's still very tasty. Uh, and... <laughs> <laughs> wasn't really worth returning to. Ah, <laughs> oh dear, this is approaching. Uh, Are you doing another bit? Uh, yeah, can't you tell? <laughs> <laughs> the, the voice is back. <laughs> the voice is back. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, maybe, uh, Christmas is another. Christmas is approaching. Uh, I, I honestly can't read the jokes. Do you want me to read it? <laughs> Will you read this one? I'll read the joke. Do your Schneider okay. voice as well. Yeah. But most of all, Christmas <laughs> is approaching. I'm not sure why everyone is always shocked by how fast Christmas comes around. It's been on the cards for ages. <laughs> so you can do accents. You basically did me. Yeah. You, you look like me as well. Yeah, yeah, you know, well, the impression, yeah. yeah. Sort of performance voice. Don't you think of these, like, with uh, Alan Carr's chatty voice, yourself, don't you? I have got a bit of a performance voice, although... Well, I do a radio show, uh, and I've noticed that when I start the radio show, I always do go into the voice. Yeah. But in stand-up now, I try and avoid uh, a voice. performance voice as much as possible because I'm trying to create a situation whereby stand-up feels You're as much as, as reality as possible. Yeah. 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 So I'm, I might try and stop doing that in the in the radio show, but that's quite hard because it has a big theme tune. Right, a big punky <laughs> theme tune. So you have to say hello yeah. over it to be heard. And does everyone get the applause? Yeah, so you've got to applause. Get the applause. Hello. Yeah. 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 And then if you were to go to a normal voice immediately after hello, yeah. well, it would sound like very downbeat. Yeah. But I think that's why in my head I'm hearing applause the whole time. Which oh, is yeah. why, yeah, I, which is why I have you need to see something about that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a performance voice? Or you well, very... fun, like you said about um, wanting stand up to sound natural, I find myself on stage talking so inarticulately to try and overemphasize mm. the fact that it's all natural yeah. but I sound like I can barely speak English right. <laughs> I'm like so like um, the uh, okay so like, like that because it sounds I, so it's but, uh, not on purpose well, but that's once. an act pardon yeah, that's that's an oh, no, but I don't do it intentionally it's right. not intentional and I found myself intentionally sounding less and less like articulate but I did notice um, I was at a festival this year someone hadn't turned up who was meant to host a tent and um, the Someone that was running this thing said, "What are you doing right? What are you two doing right now?" And we were just doing nothing. He said, "Okay, can you host this tent quick on stage?" Adam Hess, and I'm like, <gasps> like that. And I'm like, "Good evening, thank you, and welcome to." And like, I'm just like, "What the hell is happening?" That's right, man. We got absolutely exceptional evening ahead of us. And I was like, I was like, "Who is this man? I love him." And I was just like, um, "Up next, we got some of the most amazing bands that you've ever." Seen. And I was like, oh, "Okay, this is my, this is the new me. This is the new me." Did you do a thing? Which one should become that host of pointing at people in the audience and smiling? Because that's a thing that I don't I, understand. Is when people are introduced on American chat shows in the old days but sometimes even now mm. they'll play like some music and then they'll come on and before they sit down and start their thing they'll point at people in the audience <laughs> yeah. and, smile, and they're like who are they pointing you, you do stand up as well yeah I have in the past yeah but I've kind of stopped yeah right was I, a, I wasn't asked to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You did you have stop. a voice I think I did I think because I have like a few different voices I've realised I've got like normal voice and then I've got like stand up voice was a bit more enthusiastic and then if I do any kind of like radio or voiceover I try to do like a sexy voice I've realised only when I've heard it back I've gone oh is it a bit whispery it's like it's just a bit lower down than yeah, I usually, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's like fooling no one because yeah. I've got quite like a teenage boy voice. Right? Like when if I hear myself on anyone's voice messages, I go, "Ooh, no. Yeah. No. on anyone else's voice messages." Yeah, what? <laughs> no, no, just, can I just get, can I remember <laughs> when no, I no, creep no. into someone's house? <laughs> Louise's <laughs> other friend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I. You know the way if someone goes, "Oh, you left me a message," and then they play it on speakerphone. Has that never happened? That is not. No, that has no, never happened. Never happened to me either. 
that has happened. Well, they, you, well, they you, play you your own message. Yeah, they go, oh, you called me. And then they'll kind of like put it on speakerphone. <laughs> is it because your voice is so weird? <laughs> yeah. Why have yeah. you done this deep voice? Yeah. yeah. You're sexy today. And I don't <laughs> understand why. I, yeah, I, like, no, I really don't think that's ever happened to me. No. I think they say, you left me a message. It was about going to the shops. <laughs> they don't say, I better play it to you in case I got that wrong. In case I preceded <laughs> <Yeah>. it wrong. <laughs> you need <laughs> messages about going to the shops. Yeah, yeah, like, your life I is so mundane. Go I went mundane. I didn't want to say. Insight into the show business. It was about meeting Bill Clinton. I didn't want to say that. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about Christmas. That's what it says down on my list. Christmas. Are you are you looking forward to Christmas? I don't really... Well, I, I love the build-up and I love all the, you know, Christmas. I don't really go home for Christmas. I kind of spend Christmas on my own. I know that's... And everyone goes... <laughs> no, and everyone no, assumes no, no, it's no. been because like... your best friend is... Your yeah, best friend has her other friend yeah. over on that day. Yeah. I quite like being on my own on the day itself do, because... Do your family not want you... Uh, they don't want me. No. And I don't... Because no one likes who we become when we're yeah. together at Christmas. Because right. we don't have any kids in our family yet. Like, my sister's engaged but she doesn't have any kids and I don't have any kids that I know of so when we're <laughs> there it's like we're just I turn into my 15 year old self and I it's just my mother becomes a different lady altogether with a different voice if the next door neighbours come over she'll go like, oh it's so nice to have you here <laughs> and so, and really and I just my whole spine just starts going I'm, I, like you don't want to say anything but also you're so embarrassed and then she starts to talk to us like we're 14 right. and so by the but end of the day you're just describing most people's Christmas, Christmas. Yes. yes, and and yet you you've said no, I'm not having it, I'm which is quite edge. unusual. Yeah, I just kind of went. I'm not going to fly all the way over, all the way over. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. God, all, 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 all the flights. <laughs> Chris, I'm not going to fly the 50 minute flight. <laughs> no, but Christmas for me mostly is a bit weird because I always used to work like when I left school over Christmas. I would always work in retail, so like in doing the shops. <laughs> In yeah, one, like particular, <laughs> one particular, one particular shop, one right. particular shop where I would sell exclusively toothbrushes, electric toothbrushes. Were you that like? How I, were you on electric toothbrushes? I was the rep. I was the rep. I would dress in the red outfits. <laughs> you, Mister Santa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's the red outfit that was, was the emblematic <laughs> yeah. of this brand, and it was. I was having to sell these toothbrushes, which ranged from thirty pounds for the basic to one hundred and eighty pounds, yeah. wow. which was the same thing. But it was louder. And <laughs> it was so sad because it was just the same fourteen songs on a loop. Yeah. Oh, which no. so now when I hear them, I'm like, I'm in, I'm in the shop. I'm in the shop. I'm in the shop. shop. Yeah. And it was awful, and everyone in, in the shop hated me. And I would hear the chat in the break room, and they once I heard two of the other people that worked there arguing over whether you were meant to say, "Would you like apple or would you like an apple." That's how weird these people were. No one has the... said in the history of the world, would you like Apple? Yeah, unless, yeah. yeah and it no was... one said, would you like Apple? That's someone who we doesn't did. know how it to speak. This girl, this girl <laughs> said, do you want Apple? And they went, no, it's an Apple. And she went, what? And they yeah. had a big debate. Another person insisted you could buy an airport with a million pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and then they went, yeah, you go home there whenever you want. And yeah. I'm like, what? Where is it? Why am I the unpopular one here? You employed three year olds from the 1970s. <laughs> yeah, and you can buy anything with a million pounds. Yeah, it, it, was, it was insane. And then I, I would get mystery shopped all the time, and I knew. Mystery I, shopped? I mystery shopped yeah, all the time. Yeah, I just, I met What's someone the other day. Yeah, well, funny you should say this. But my, one of my ex girlfriend's sister appeared on the tube the other day. I didn't appear, not like a ghost. She suddenly said, <laughs> hello. I said, hello. She was going for a job and I hadn't really heard of it before as a mystery shopper which apparently is there are these companies that will employ people on behalf of other shops and whatever say okay we're going to train you to go into the shop pretend to be a real shopper film it secretly and then if those people are not doing their job they can oh. be sacked essentially oh, it would happen to me when I worked in said shop it happened to me once a fortnight or so really? and one, once yeah once they caught me just hitting my head against the wall no no it wasn't hitting my head the wall was nice and cold and I just wanted to feel like the the steel up against my forehead. I love this story. I, just, I, was, I was doing that. <laughs> I, I love and the then terrible I saw, sadness of it. <laughs> with my hat and the, there was a steel over and here. Let's not forget, little... It wasn't even warm, it was Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was nice and cold. And I was but my toothbrush stand was over there, but the steel was over here. So I was like, I had my head up against the steel. And then I went to check that I was stealing my little free free like toothpaste samples and I looked over and there was a guy looking like like spending a bit too much interest looking at it. Thanks for that in the in the voice. That really was the voice. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah, next up, uh, Twitter introduced likes this month. So uh, it's just got me thinking about what about change because people are so annoyed. Are you all on Twitter? You're well. Are I'm you off it now. I You're came off, off it. it. Yeah. You were on it. I we was had some conversations. Right. We did have some conversations. Yeah, but then you came off it. Yeah. Really? I and came you... off it not because of you. Yeah, I was a troll. <laughs> Blocked and reported. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I left. Well yeah, I just kind of got to a point where I realised that I just needed to talk to my actual friends. Mm. You know, yeah, I was doing because lots of the, of... because of the other friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just, just talk to <laughs> him. It was around the time he came along, and I felt very, very threatened. Can I just ask about change in general, not just on Twitter? I mean, are you are you are you comfortable with am I comfortable with technology? I read this month the the I don't know if you read about this woman who she won some money on the horses in Australia <laughs> uh, and she took a selfie of herself with her winning ticket uh, and someone copied the there's a little um, oh wow mark thing you know what they call it um, watermark no what they call it like, I don't beep, know beep when you scan barcode a barcode, a barcode. thank you what, on the, the ticket yeah there's a little barcode uh, that's how you get your winnings you scan the barcode oh, right. so uh, a so called friend of hers on the Facebook uh, just took that photo wow. scanned the used the barcode on the photo no. to claim the winnings no yeah oh, so she took the photo before she claimed her winnings so yeah so she hadn't claimed her winnings yet right. so this this elementary friend, error yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you wouldn't have thought Anyway, you thought, okay. I would never have thought that you could just take that photo and use the barcode that's on that photo to claim the winnings. Well, can I ask well, you something? Uh, is, is, you're off Twitter now, but uh, do you ever, when you're abroad, think, oh, I better not tweet from abroad because I might be burgled? Oh, there oh. is that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then, but then at the same point. time, a small other part of me thinks how grandiose of me to oh, assume yeah. to <laughs> assume that I have enough followers who might somehow, and some of them must some be the burglars. burglars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. I, um, I, I, I keep realising I'm revealing, I realise I keep revealing too much stuff on Twitter. But then there's people who would come up to me and say, oh, you, I find you quite funny. What you're up to is so funny on the internet. It's all lies. It's all lies. So people get angry about that as well. Yeah. If you've made stuff up. After my, I did a show recently at, um, in London's West End for wow. a run. And afterwards, every single per or every single evening of the run, someone would come up to me and say, oh, is, was that bit true? And I would say, do you want to know? And then they go, yeah. <laughs> and I'd tell them what bits were true and which weren't. And then they were just a grumpy old yeah. so-and-so off there. It's, like, it's, it's weird. It's like you wouldn't go up to Dickens and say, so is, 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 is that, <laughs> yeah. was that true? That I, whole, the parallels you, know, you drew between me and Dickens. <laughs> but my yeah. All my stand-up is true. I, I, I never, all of it. You all, never well, exaggerate. No, when I was younger, uh, it wasn't particularly, or I would just think of funny things. Now I only really work with stuff that is true because I've got a kind of truth problem. I mean, I'll give you an example. I, I did this thing about how I, I would try and express to the audience how I always tell the truth by saying the only time recently when I haven't told the truth is I was typing something into the internet, uh, into Google, and my eight-year-old son Ezra said to me, Dad, I don't know why he said this, he said, Dad, what would happen if we typed the word sexy ladies into there? And I said... I don't know. <laughs> and, 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 but th I, I told that joke. It's a true story. It's all a true story. But then he got older over the course of time that I was doing that gag. So I would start saying, my eight-year-old son Ezra, well, he's nine now, but when he did, said yeah. this, he was eight. And that's because I can't help myself. I cannot lie in the slightest no, way. It's, it's got a nuts yeah. neurosis. No, it's sort of not good. It's not good. I mean, no, it I, is, it's, I like another example is how it's not good is that a man was once talking to me about this other couple, uh, about how he, so they're not, yeah, they're 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 <laughs> the other couple, he said, oh, I, I don't know how they even managed to speak to each other. And I just said, yeah, but I think that about you and your wife. And I thought, <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that, I really didn't intend to do but that. But that's not that, on stage. That, that, that was on stage. Life. That was in real life. So you're but, honest all the time, all time in real life. Yeah. I can be like that sometimes. Oh. And it's really weird uh, and not good. Oh. Oh, but that's Shame really that is good. I mean, even though you're being quite blunt with people, it's better than I just lie all the time about <laughs> everything to everyone. Do you know, you're, 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 not Irish. you're not yeah. Irish, are you? Is, <laughs> is that the truth? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just like I always like I just don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, and I want everyone to like me so much that right. I. It's just a, 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 just every single yes, day. Do so you not many want lives. people to like you? Is that gone? You're, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've given up on that. <laughs> yeah. But no, I, 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 yeah, I probably want people to like me as much as anyone else. Although. That is trumped by my need to tell the truth. And also, I think, as a comedian, I think you do a trick anyway, certainly as a confessional comedian, which I guess I am, which is I will be incredibly honest about all my failings and all the things that is wrong with me. That will make people like me. Right. The honesty uh, is what they yeah. will like. I yeah. see, yeah, yeah. yeah. In so socially, I'm quite bad with lying. I was in a meeting a couple of days ago, 
and someone said this idea for a thing, and and I couldn't say, oh, that's funny. It, like 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 the. It, the dance of this conversation felt like I had to say, oh, that's a really funny idea. Mm. But what I ended up saying was, like, almost as misleading. I went, that's an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Which that's it sounds terrible. like I'm saying that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. an doesn't, idea. It, it, you know what? No. It doesn't. No, 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 it, it, there was a bit of positivity there. I was doing some affirmation. An example of when I lie uh, now is um, uh, people would come up to me in the street and, you know, they would say... Um, I loved you in the day-to-day -day, or Alan Parchment. They don't, it was quite a while ago now, so it sometimes doesn't happen so much. But but they also would say, I loved you in Brass Eye or in The Fast Show. We which get it, mate. Which I'm not in. Which I wasn't in. Oh. Uh, uh, and uh, I would say to them, no, actually, I, I didn't, I wasn't in The Fast Show. And their disappointment would be so mm. huge mm. that I thought it's better for me to just say, thank you very much. Mm. Yeah. Um, so now I do that. And, and the other day, uh, someone came up to me and said, uh, my mum was blown away by your book about internment on the island, no, right, 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 which okay. Dave wrote. Yeah, yeah. And someone said, there's a comedian over there, he's called Dave. Oh my God, my mum wrote this book. And did uh, you say, well, thank you very much? There was a crossroads. It's the first time it's happened, but if it happens a few more times, I will say thank you very much. Well, well, but I did point out that it was you on that occasion. I, I know I don't have much time left, but I, when I was younger, couldn't tell the difference between my mum and Lorraine Kelly. <laughs> That's what? quite a big. No, I just what? couldn't tell what do you the mean difference. You couldn't tell the that, difference? that is it. That is it. But, is so, your but, you, no, my mum looks exactly like. Did Lorraine you think Kelly. like Lorraine Kelly was serving you breakfast? And <laughs> no, no I, I thought this woman that was on TV was my mum. <laughs> oh, marvelous. Okay, well, that's all we've got time for. I'd like to thank my guests, Dave Vadil, Yasmin Akram, and Adam Hess. That's all from the Walker's Snack Now. I'm putting the crisp into the run-up to Crispmus. See what I did there. Goodbye. <laughs>